Active campaign automatic reminder. In this video, we're going to cover how to create an automation that occasionally reminds a person, and it's going to be based on behavior. Good example, somebody joins your membership, but never logs in. That's a problem. And for this to work, we're going to use active campaign tracking and a custom date field along with the automation. So let's dive right in. Inside your active campaign account, we're gonna to need to create a custom field. So let's do that by going to list, manage fields. And I'm gonna create a field, doesn't matter what you call it, but I'm gonna call it last date visit. And it's going to be a date field type and go ahead and add that. Second thing is we want to make sure our website is whitelisted here copy the tracking code, and then you need to embed it on your site. Now for this one, I'm putting it into a membership software and I've put it at the very bottom of the page and I've added this line right here, not required, but certainly helps. It's the set email capability. So what you can do is you, if you know the person's email address and you can force it in, then do it. Um, this way you guarantee that you're tracking appropriately whether they're on a mobile desktop or a different device that they haven't been on before. And in this case, uh, Zenforo has the ability to push in their email address. So if you have this capability, do so. Otherwise, straight up copy from here works. So those are the two things we need to do ahead prior to um, getting our automation going. So now let's create an automation. Start from scratch, continue. We want to do web pages visited as the trigger. Click on continue. Fortunately, this is already there. And if I go look at this page, it's actually in a subdirectory called members. So I want to go back to here, put in members, and use the star or asterisk above the number eight as a wildcard so that it matches on anything, any URL that does this domain, followed by members, followed by anything. And I certainly want it to run more than one time. Click on add start. Now for this to work, the first thing we want to do is we actually want to update a cust the custom field we just created. Before I do that, let me just call this, save it. I'm going to go ahead and make it active now. But right here, we want to update a custom field. It needs to be the current time. Click on save. And then we're going to do a check. Do they have a tag or do they not? And the purpose of this tag is to prevent them from going down a certain path more than once while they're in here. So we're going to do a check here. Do they have a tag? Or actually, do they not have a tag? In this case, does not exist. And for me, I'm going to call it so that will automatically create since I don't already have it. So think about it. If they've come down here and they don't have this tag, they're going here. Guess what the first thing I'm going to do is add that tag. And then next thing I want to do, and here's the magic part. This is where we check, have they visited within a certain amount of time? We want to wait for a certain amount of time. Now, based on the activity in this membership, we're going to do about two weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and say, well, let's wait for 14 days. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to check. And this is where we're going to say, when did they last visit? So we're going to look at the custom contact field. Last visit date is after. And we're going to do current date minus and we definitely want it less than 14 days. Otherwise, it'll always go down one path, always go down the yes path. So what I'm gonna do is 13 days. So think this through with me a little bit here. They came in and the way they got in here is because they actually visited the site. They came down this path here, presumably they're not already in here. We wait for 14 days and we just wanna know, did any time in the last 13 days did they visit? If we would have said minus 14 or minus 15, they would always go down this yes path. And that's not necessarily what we want. In this case, if they, they visit one day and then for two weeks they don't visit, they're gonna go down the no path. And this is where I wanna send them an email and say, hey, what's going on? Um, and this is just a gentle reminder email. That's all it is. And this is the automatic part. You don't have to do this, but you're working on keeping people retained into your membership.
Now, we don't want them to come right back into this automation because think about it, this triggers, they could be coming in every single day and they're gonna come in and come in and come in. So if they are, and they're already tagged, they'll go down the no path, which we'll use to end the automation. But if they've made it here and we've reminded them, we don't wanna remind them for let's say another three weeks. So I could put wait three weeks here, or yeah, why don't we just do that? So they're not gonna come back in for at least another three weeks. So it spreads it out. And of course you can adjust it, but I also want this to go over to there. Now, after 21 days, we remove this tag right here, the actions and 40 slipping away. And then we'll end the automation. And we may need to make a connection here. <clears throat> so just to review, somebody visits this page, update their last date visit field to the current time. We come in here, are they already in here? If they're not in here, we put them in here. We tag them to identify them as being in here. Wait for a certain amount of days. In this case, I decided 14, you might do seven. Um, and then we do a check. Basically, when was their last date fee visit field updated? And I wanna make it less than this date, and I'm gonna do it simply by one day. Then if they haven't visited since the initial one, they're gonna come down here, receive this email, wait another 21 days, remove the tag so that they can come back in, and then in this automation. Now, you can mix this up a little bit. If you have the ability to split right here, you can add, have different versions of the same email, or you could make content conditional. So let's make sure this works. I'm already logged in as myself. So let me just visit the page and go to another page on here and make sure this gets tracked. And I'm gonna go look to make sure my email is in here. And I'm gonna search for VGO to find it. So there's my email. Now what I wanna do is go into here and I should be here because I've never been in here before. So there I am. So that's how you create an active campaign automatic reminder automation.